Welcome to Section 2, Importing Your Data to QuickSight. In this video, we will cover AWS Big Data Ecosystem in detail and see how the various services can provide an end-to-end -end solution. The following chart shows the key services for Big Data Analytics in AWS. There are three categories, Collect, Store and Process, and Analyze aligning with all the typical data flows in organizations. First, we have to connect to source data. Next, we have to store this data, process it in a consumable format, and finally analyze that in reporting tools. Note, in this, I'm only showing a subset of the various services that AWS provides. I've selected few key ones that I feel will help building a great solution for analytical use cases. In the subsequent slides, we'll go in details of each section. Data collection. Data sources most commonly fit in one of the following three categories. First, files. They can be structured like CSV, unstructured like log files, video files, or semi-structured like JSON. Two, databases. There are two main flavors, SQL and NoSQL. SQL is for relational stores. NoSQL is stores like document stores like MongoDB. Three, cloud services. Typically API-based interfaces from SaaS providers like Salesforce, ServiceNow, etc. Next, let's look at a set of services in AWS that are used to collect data from these various sources. First, AWS Data Sync which is the easiest way to migrate or sync data from on-premise to AWS using agents. AWS service manages all the infrastructure details and provides an easy interface instead of building custom applications or scripts. AWS Transfer for SFTP provides SFTP service to move data from outside AWS to your AWS data store. Amazon Kinesis Data Fire Hose provides real-time streaming to AWS Data Store. Next, let's look at storage. Once we've established the connectivity, we need to finally store the data in AWS. Here are the key options. AWS Simple Storage Service, also known as S3, is the most popular AWS service to store data and is a foundational for any data lake project in the cloud. It is a persistent object store and has several options. You can use things like frequently used, infrequently used, replication for reliability, all these options at various cost so that you can choose the best option for the job. It also has a wide range of connectivity options. AWS EBS or Elastic Block Storage is good when you're looking for local storage on an EC2 instance for high performance, like a database management system. Amazon EFS, Elastic File Storage, is good when you want a local storage on EC2 with traditional file system hierarchy, directory, and subdirectories. Amazon Redshift is a data warehouse service on cloud that serve various analytical workloads. It's fully integrated with S3, Kinesis, and QuickSight. Redshift Spectrum also makes it seamless to query S3 without the need to load the data into Redshift. Now let's look at data processing. Amazon EMR provides distributed processing on big data with open source software like Apache Spark, Hive, Presto, and others. AWS Lambda is serverless compute for data. Just upload your code and let it do the rest. It supports Java, Go, PowerShell, Node.js, Chash, Python, and Ruby programming languages. AWS Glue is a managed extract transform load ETL service that runs on serverless Spark environment. It can run Python or Scala code and has integrated Glue catalog, which makes metadata available for ETL jobs. 
Other services worth considering for orchestration are AWS Data Pipeline, AWS Step Functions, and AWS Batch. Now let's look at how to analyze this data once it's in the data lake. Amazon Athena is a serverless query service on S3 layer, making it simple to run SQL on top of S3. It's fully integrated with the Glue Catalog for metadata management. Amazon QuickSight is serverless business intelligence service with a wide range of connectivity options, as well as simple browser-based visualizations and powerful in-memory caching layer. Amazon SageMaker provides data science teams a platform to manage complete lifecycle from building the model, training the model, and deploying the model to production. Let's look at what are the data sources QuickSight supports. Broadly speaking, we can categorize the data sources for QuickSight in these three buckets. Files, databases, software as service, like salesforce.com. 